Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you're presenting to the prospect and you can start to see they're losing interest and they're looking in other directions or they're checking out their phone? This is because we have followed a process that has taken us down a bad path. We've got to make sure that our presentations are tight and succinct and are leveraging the best techniques. So in this video, I'm going to show you five must know sales presentation techniques that close deals. Check it out. Number one deep discovery first. What this means is that if you look at the typical sales process of the typical salesperson, they tend to jump right into a pitch. They jump right into their presentation without doing that really thorough deep discovery. This means that we're just presenting to anyone with a pulse and we have no idea if the prospect really is a fit for what we offer. Using a Deep discovery process is critical. Now, in our world, we call it disqualification, where we're asking a systematic set of questions to really understand, is the prospect a fit, and understand their world, so that way we can understand their challenges and present to those challenges eventually. But the deep discovery must come before the presentation. Even if the prospect is pushing us for the presentation right away, we've got to slow it down and go deep understanding exactly what's going on in their world. Number two, bridge where they are to where they want to go. This is really sales in a nutshell. Let's just say your prospect is right here at point A and they wanna to get to point B. Now, there is all of this hinterlands that's dangerous and scary and unknown all in the middle. And so in order for them to get from point A to point B, they need to see a bridge that will get them from one place to the other. And that's really what a salesperson is, is they serve as that bridge. Your offering serves as that bridge for them to get from point A to point B. So no matter what it is that you sell, it is ultimately helping them from, to get from where they are to where they want to go. And if they don't feel that there's a clear bridge getting them there, then they're not going to buy from you. It has to be something where they really believe that you can help get them there. You are the solution to the challenges that they're facing. When they see that, then they buy. If they don't see that, then they're not going to buy. So we need to make sure that we have done that deep discovery to understand what are the challenges that they have and we need to understand where they want to go. And then we need to demonstrate through our presentation that we can get them from point A to point B. That is sales in a nutshell. It really is that simple if we follow the process. Number three, solve their challenges. When I was just talking about being the bridge, you may have thought to yourself, well, it's not that easy just being a bridge. Like, okay, I'm just gonna be a bridge. That sounds easy, but what do I actually do? Well, in order to demonstrate that you are the bridge, you need to demonstrate that you can solve their challenges. You have understood through that deep discovery what's going on in their world, what are the challenges, where do they wanna to get to, and you need to demonstrate in your presentation that you can solve those challenges. So this is not about doing a feature and benefit presentation. They don't care about your stupid features or your stupid benefits. What they care about is, can this person solve my challenges? Your prospects only care about talking to you as far as they believe that you can solve their challenges. They're not looking for a friend, they're not looking for a buddy, they're not looking to have someone that they really like. That stuff doesn't matter. What matters is that you have demonstrated that you can ultimately solve their challenges. So the more you gear their presentation to the challenges that they've mentioned and nothing else, that's what matters. Number four, get constant feedback. When you're talking to prospects, there's a good chance that you are just doing a complete info dump on them. When it's presentation time, a lot of salespeople get really excited and it's like, all right, we're gonna talk about this and it's gonna go on and on and on. And that's when the prospect starts to kind of like doze off and they're like, you know, falling asleep and they're not into it. We need to be constantly getting feedback from the prospect at every point, every key point in that presentation where they are just quickly assenting to what's going on. Does that make sense? That's a feedback loop right there, is getting feedback by just constantly, as you're presenting, getting a little bit of feedback from the prospect with just a simple question like, do you see what I'm talking about here? 
and let them just nod or say, yeah, that makes sense. And if you're doing that throughout your entire presentation, you're pulling them into the conversation and you're making them feel like they have worked in creating the ultimate solution. And so it's almost like instead of having one big close at the end of the sale, there are these many, many tiny little sales that are happening throughout the conversation. That's the power of getting constant feedback. Number five, let their questions drive the conversation. When we look at the typical salesperson's presentation, if you've got one hour for a presentation, let's say, just to pick an easy number, most salespeople plan for about 50 minutes of the time being the time that they're talking and doing the presentation. And as a result, the prospect is just deathly bored and chances are they're not even dealing with the issues that are most important to them because no one wants to sit there and listen to you talk for 50 minutes. No one. And so what we want to do actually is keep our presentations really short, like really short and focusing just on solving their challenges and then letting their questions drive the conversation. So the shorter your presentation is and the more you can engage them and let the questions that they have drive the conversation, the more you're talking about what really matters, which is what they care about. Because anything that they're asking about means it's something that's important to them. A lot of salespeople find that questions during presentations are nerve wracking or kind of a scary moment. But actually, any question during a presentation is an opportunity to understand what the prospect really cares about and to focus on the pieces that matter most to them. So when you're in presentation phase of the sale, let their questions drive that conversation forward. So there are five must know sales presentation techniques that close deals. If you enjoyed this video, then I have an amazing free training on the step-by-step -step formula to closing more deals. Just click right here to get registered instantly. Seriously, just click right here. This is an in-depth training that will help you close more deals at higher prices, all while generating more meetings. Also, if you got some value, please like this video below on YouTube and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking my face that should be right about here to get access to a new video just like this one each week.